everyone so i'm back in the place that i start almost all of my youtube videos today is actually going to be a pretty special video and probably a long one i'm going to be trying a new product that was sent to me by a very special brand so i'm going to be showing that at some point in the video i'm going to be doing just a general update i realized i've actually been doing carnivore or an animal based diet whatever you want to call it for about six months exactly today and I've been not a vegan anymore for about a full year, actually a little bit longer than a full year. So I thought it was worth documenting some of the changes I've gone through up to this point and kind of going over little alterations that I've made that I maybe went back on. So this video is gonna serve as a general update. It's gonna be a what I eat in a day. I'm gonna answer some questions later on. I'm gonna insert a clip of what I've had so far today. It is going into the afternoon right now. I haven't eaten yet today, but I did have my normal cup of coffee with beef tallow. I did tell you guys briefly, I stopped putting beef tallow in my coffee, which is a pretty common thing for me because I was putting heavy cream in it, but I actually did start putting beef tallow in or butter with the heavy cream because I found when I have a day when I'm not eating really fatty cuts of meat, which I'm not eating Wagyu beef every single day, I found that including that in my coffee is just another way of me getting enough fat throughout the day. So I did have that in my coffee. I had beef tallow today, but I've actually really been enjoying putting butter in my coffee lately, like a little bit of salted butter, but I didn't have that today. And I did have a mineral water. I'll show you guys that as well. I promise if you're not familiar with liquid death, it is not beer. I actually don't drink at all anymore. I, I, I never say never anymore because I was vegan for so long and I thought I'd be vegan forever. So I won't say I'll never drink again, but I have no interest in it. I haven't drank a sip of alcohol in over six months, I wanna say now. So anyway, yeah, that's not beer. That is all I've had so far today. So I am gonna be having my like brunch, I guess you could say pretty soon. I'm gonna do a Q and A sesh towards the end of the video. I'll probably insert a timestamp. All right guys, I'll see you for my first meal of the day. Okay guys, I'm actually gonna be doing that unboxing I mentioned way earlier in the video because this is gonna be a part of my first meal of the day. So the product I was talking about are carnivore crisps. I came home from work yesterday and unboxed these and I had a little bit of a hectic day so it really cheered me up when I found this product in the midst of all the other products these bison crisps they are a completely new product so I did a taste test already for my Instagram they're really good they remind me a lot of the beef and they're actually crunchier than most of the beef though so they'd be really good for recipes that are trying to emulate nachos and stuff they'd be good to just dip in sour cream and avocado however you know however you want to do it but yeah they're really good so they're going to be a part of my first meal if you guys haven't tried carnivore crisps yet and you're not familiar they are only seasoned with Redmond's Real Salt. All of the meat is either grass-fed or pasture-raised. The animals are not fed any antibiotics or hormones. They also obviously have no sugar. They're literally only seasoned with Redmond's Real Salt, so they're an amazing snack if you're doing a carnivore or animal-based diet and want a really clean snack to eat. You are supposed to refrigerate them after you open them, but I find that they never really last long enough for me to have to refrigerate them after I open the bags, but yeah, they're really great. I would definitely give these a try when they do come out, and if you haven't tried them yet, if you're not already a fan of this brand, you can try them for the first time for 10% off with my code EXPLANTEATER. Alright guys, so this is going to be my first meal of the day at this point. It does not look very interesting, but this is just what I'm eating. It's been kind of a, it's been a little bit of a busy day, so I'm just doing this for presentation purposes. Yeah, I'm just going to be having some of the, these carnivore crisps, the sirloin, and the bison to dip in the sour cream. This is the sour cream that I use. It's double cream, I think. Yeah. Ronnie Brook Farms double cream. I believe it's from a fairly local farm that's not far from me, but it's not raw. I do opt for higher fat and dairy products because by default that means it has less lactose. And I do find with my colitis, even though it is healed, no symptoms have still come back. I have found that I seem to be sensitive to lactose and it just keeps my digestion working better if I do avoid it. So again, higher fat dairy products not only just make me feel better, they give me more energy, they give me more satiety, but they just seem to agree with me better. So again, 
That's why I always opt for higher fat these days. That's why I started putting heavy cream in my coffee. So yeah. All right guys, I'll catch you in the next segment of this video. All right guys, so as per usual, I am kind of skipping lunch and gonna just go right to dinner in a little while. But in the meantime, I'm having one more cup of coffee today. I have to get up at 6.30. Well, I have to be at work at 6.30 tomorrow. So that's gonna be it for me today. I can promise you that. I know you guys know I have a coffee problem, but that's gonna be it for me today. I can't see it, but I put butter in this coffee and heavy cream. I started buying uh, only unsalted butter because I put Redmond's real salt in everything So I figured Redmond's is a is higher quality. It has the minerals that I need So I'd rather get that and add that to butter. So yeah, it's unsalted butter and heavy cream I'm gonna put a little bit of sea salt in my coffee I, I like the way it tastes a lot with butter specifically and I'm just having some water also with Redmond's real salt and lime juice in it and that's probably gonna be it for me until I eat dinner, so I'll catch up with you guys then. And actually, I forgot to add, somebody asked me when I polled you guys about what you were interested in seeing in my next YouTube video, somebody asked me what coffee I use, and I use Lavazza Espresso. I started having this coffee about a month ago, and I've been sold since then. It also is just coffee and doesn't have any natural flavorings added to it. I did stop consuming those about two months ago, I would say, and that was because I started feeling a little weird and lightheaded whenever I would have natural flavorings, or they just started also in things like seltzer tasting really weird to me. So. Like they would taste almost sulfury. It was it was not pleasant. So I don't really do flavored seltzer anymore. I'm like talking over the coffee machine at this point. So sorry if you hear it in the background, but I no longer have flavored seltzer and I no longer have flavored coffee. I always opt for the unflavored. So this is just plain espresso. It's not organic, but it, the flavor is great and I don't notice any bad side effects from it. All right guys, so I'm eating my dinner. It's a couple of ounces of 80-20 ground beef. It's not grass fed or anything. And about an ounce of raw gruyere or however you say that kind of cheese. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. The cheese does have a lot of salt, so I'm not gonna put any remnants on this. And I did have carnivore crisps earlier. So again, I just don't really feel like more salt is necessary. I did wanna mention, so I posted a grocery shopping haul of a typical grocery shopping for me when I'm going shopping for most of my food for about a two week period. And I did buy a lot of pork. I believe that that was the brunt of the meat that I bought actually. And I got so much criticism on that. Nothing really that bad or like nasty, but so many people were like, why would you consume pork? Do you really enjoy pork belly? And I, I don't think I'm gonna just stop eating it because of what people said. But if you guys wanna let me know down in the comments why pork is so bad or if if maybe you do consume it and you don't really listen to that i'm genuinely curious i would like to have researched it already but i just haven't gotten around to it i'm gonna be covering this in a youtube video that i film pretty soon most likely but i want to see how it goes consuming mainly ruminant meats so for me that would mostly be beef bison things that i can get on a daily basis from the store I have been really wanting to try that brand force of nature so i was going to just do a pretty big shopping one day on their website to to stock up my freezer but yeah i do want to see how i feel eating mostly ruminant meats so from now on when i go food shopping i am going to just be buying red meat it is a little bit more expensive but i think it's worth it to just see how things might change for me i have been feeling really good eating the way that i'm showing you guys today I covered this on my Instagram. I'm obviously not posting YouTube videos as frequently as I post on my Instagram, so it just happened that it was more convenient for me to make a video about this on there, but I was eating avocado again for, I would say two weeks, and I thought it was going well at first. I had some tomatoes for my neighbor's garden as well to see how that would go, and I didn't really notice anything initially from it, but in the midst of this, and I, I wanna say I mostly do think it was from the avocado, because my logic is that foods that are local that I would have naturally been able to eat are probably not going to disagree with me as badly as something that is completely foreign, which would be an avocado. I believe that the closest avocados grow to me is probably California. So 
I want to say that these issues came about from eating avocado, but I don't know. It could have also been from the tomato. I just decided to take both of them back out of my diet. But I got a rash on my arm while I was eating avocado. I had very slight intestinal pain, but you know, it didn't end up causing diarrhea or anything. I felt groggy and had brain fog in the morning. I noticed more muscle fatigue. So I decided, okay, I'm going to take this out again. I was, to be fair, I wasn't having that much avocado. I was maybe having like a few tablespoons a day. Like I would cut a quarter of it or half up in my food. And I really liked the taste of avocado. If I could tolerate it, I would gladly eat it. But as soon as I cut it out, all those issues went away. I went back to feeling clear-headed. My energy wasn't doing anything weird. I obviously didn't get more rashes on my arms. So yeah, for the most part, I'm going to just stay with the way of eating that I've been showing you guys all along. It works best for me. So yeah, I'm going to eat this. I'm actually probably going to add a tablespoon of butter to this just to get a tiny bit more fat in because this is definitely going to be the last thing I eat today. It's now almost 8 p.m. and I gotta get, get to bed soon. I actually have a podcast to do. I believe it's called Hawk It Podcast, but I will insert the name here. I'm gonna be doing that at 9 p.m. tonight, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I will catch up with you guys for the Q&A. few announcements so again just so you guys remember you can get carnivore crisps for 10% off if you want to try them if especially if you want to try the new bison flavor this video is going to be coming out on the 20th when the bison flavor is already out I think it's premiering on the 19th so you'll see this video then and I have started a subscriber section on my YouTube it is $1.99 a month the perks are messaging i answer all messages from subscribers sometimes unfortunately i'm not able to get to everyone's messages but if you subscribe you will be able to kind of go around that issue and i i will see your message and i will respond within 24 hours you can suggest videos and as my subscribers list grows i'll probably have people vote weekly on what they want to see but i'm going to be doing one dedicated video a week for subscribers i i do have some videos planned already that i'm going to be doing for the next few weeks but again after that subscribers will be able to vote and eventually my thinking is when i reach 35 subscribers and i know that i have a decent amount of people that would probably be interested in watching a live i'm going to start doing dedicated lives once a month for my subscribers so you guys will be able to vote on the guests or the topics and I will do a live video exclusively for you so it would be a good time for you to get a lot more of your questions answered as well because again it won't be as many people that would be watching so those are all the perks as time goes on I probably will evolve the way that I'm doing it but that's just the best way that I have found right now you don't have to feel any pressure whatsoever to subscribe if you're not interested i'm not offended i am so appreciative of everyone's support so yeah i do have some live videos coming up on my instagram one that i can announce right now is going to be with primal underscore kumari i'm going to be doing a live with her on the 31st at 1 p.m and i'm going to be doing a live with dr sarah zaldivar on her account on the 26th at 2 p.m so yeah, I'm going to be announcing all of that on my Instagram, but I did just want to mention it here so you guys know what's coming up. I don't know what video I'm going to film right now next, so if you have some suggestions or things you'd want to see, definitely leave it in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Alright guys, have a good week and I'll see you soon.